Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super flippin' excited for this look here. show called Glam Masters and it's kind of like a face-off type of show where a couple of th like three contestants at a time go head to head and do kind of like makeup challenges and um, yeah and I got really inspired by the show or just I needed some kind of inspiration to get me back into these creative looks that I always create so I thought why not take some inspiration from the show and kind of participate in the challenges that they are giving to the contestants. So one of the challenges from week one was to create a drip look and this is my drip look. It looks a lot better in photos when I caught the drip at its best, but it's dripping a little too much now so I look like I'm actually crying. <laughs> Alien tears. But I thought that I would just participate in these challenges to give myself some more creativity, some just, you know, you just lose some creativity sometimes and I felt like participating in these challenges and kind of bringing them to you guys through my YouTube channel and Instagram would really help me just be more creative and start getting back into all of those creative looks because regular glam just gets boring sometimes, you guys, you know? That's all I gotta say. I'm starving. I wanna go eat. So um, if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. You guys, I'm so excited for this video. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I am using this all on my eyes. We just went from, oh, hi Enzo with the Dorito. <laughs> we just went from a light color to a dark color on the eyes and I was filming this on Instagram Live so comment down below if you caught it live. So I'm really just doing a basic kind of smoky eye, but just avoiding the middle of my lid because we're going to go back on that later. There's just no point in putting shadow on it. I'm going to cut the middle of my eye kind of like a halo eye, but cut the crease, girl. Cut the crease. I'm cutting the center crease with just some ta shape tape concealer and then blending the shadow on the outside corners. This is Max Pigment in Silver, and no, I did not wet this pigment, and it was that pigmented. Holy shit. I mean, it's also all over my desk, my chair, my floor. It was all over my hair, so, you know, pros and cons, pros and cons. I'm just taking a little bit of a dark brown and black to the inner and outer corners to help blend that silver, and that's kind of really it for the eyes. I decided to add just a little bit of glitter. It didn't show up too much, but I added this Stila glitter in Perina, Perlina, I think it's called. And then I added a little bit of this silver glitter from Glitter Realm. It's called um, Eye Something. You know, everything's in the description. <laughs> I just tapped that on top. Then I'm using the Cake That Liner from NYX. I'm just using the black to line my lashes. And then I'm putting on these Gigi lashes, the bigger ones at the top. And then we just jumped over to face. I'm using two primers, one from Fresh, one from Milk Makeup. One's to give us a luminous glow, the other's to fill in pores. And then we're jumping over to foundation. I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation all over my face with some of my favorite brushes from Royal Lang Nickel Moda Collection. This is the Complexion Brush. And then we're highlighting the bajibas out of our face, guys. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer once again in light neutral. And I'm just using a NYX Beauty Sponge to really blend that all out. By the way, sorry for the echo. We got high ceilings in here. <laughs> Then I'm just taking um, some translucent powder and blending that all over my face. And of course, talking to you guys on live. That's why this edit is so raw. All these edits are going to be raw. I feel like it's so much better when I sit down, just listen to music and film. Or when I sit down and like talk to you guys while I'm filming looks like this. I feel like they just come out so much better. So forgive the rawness, but it's raw. I bronzed up with a Note Cosmetics bronzer, terracotta powder, and then I used a Tarte blush on my cheeks. 
I'm using these three colors from the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette and we're going to town on this highlight. Don't care, no shame, highlight all over this face. I added a little bit of that highlight to the inner corners and also the brow bone. And then I took some Tresemme hairspray just to kind of flatten my hair down. I kind of wanted to go for almost that little alien-ish look. These are the Glitter Drops in Aurora from Cover Effects. I'm adding this to my hair. They look white in the bottle, but against my dark hair, they just come out so purple and it was so pretty. And I'm literally just speeding this whole part up for you guys. I am adding a little bit of the MAC pigment to my hair, more of the glitter, and as you can see, I'm adding a little bit of clear lash glue or white lash glue to my, um, my giant five head and I'm just adding rhinestones onto those as they dry. I kind of did this in pieces going back and forth so that the glue could get tacky so that the rhinestones would not fall off. But I just did this really randomly and I kind of made a crown out of it, not really. You'll see me add a little bit of glitter to my um, roots of my hair and then also to the high part of my cheeks where I highlight and then also my forehead. Kind of just to give it an alienistic, is that a word? <laughs> an alienistic kind of look to it. This is really similar to my alien makeup that's actually on my YouTube channel that really, you know, got me to where I am today. Really got known by a lot of people and that's what really started my 31 days of crazy Halloween. So here we are again trying to bring that back, you know? So I know you guys are probably wondering where is the drip? It's coming, don't worry. It wanted, I wanted it to be the last thing that I did. It's the smart thing to do. Um, so I'm lining my lips with a Jouer lip pencil, lip liner, and then I am filling in my lips with this beautiful color from M Cosmetics and topping it with a Huda Beauty gloss and also a little bit more of the Cover FX glitter drops. So for the drip, you guys, I'm speeding this up because it kind of took just a little bit of time for the drip to actually come about. But all I did was I mixed the Innisfree Nourishing uh, Canola Mist, which is just a setting spray with the MAC pigment. And I made sure it was like 75% pigment, 25% this mist. And this mist is kind of oily too, which helped it stay thick and drip more slowly. So that's it. That's all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into this video right here. If you tune in to Glam Masters, let me know down below what challenge you want me to do next. By the time this video goes up, there will probably be two episodes that aired, which means there are six different challenges. Here's one of them, so there's five left to choose from. So let me know what you guys want me to do, if you want me to do one of those challenges, or you guys have a better idea. Leave those down below. Of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe to me and check out all of my other creative tutorials right here. I love you guys always. Thank you so much for your support in this rough creative block time and I'll see you guys soon.